One of Flutter's awesomely powerful features is Hot Reload, but sometimes it just sort of works even though your IDE is properly connected to the device. What the Flutter? Hot Reload works by updating the source code in the running Dart virtual machine. Then, starting with the widget at the root of the tree, every widget's build method is rerun until the entire tree is rebuilt and a new frame is rendered. Change the title of your app bar? Great, Hot Reload will work for you. Swapped out your widget's column for a row? Also great. But did you change what widget is at the root of your tree? That one that you're passing into run app? Well, remember how we said that the reload starts with the widget currently at the root? If you change it, Flutter still tries to run the build method for the one that used to be the root. It doesn't rerun main or run app, and so for that, you'll have to restart. If any of your changes are outside of the build method, it's a safe bet that full restart will be required. Let's look at a couple of examples. Since init state or dispose aren't called by build, changes in those methods won't be picked up by hot reload, and a restart is needed instead. Did you add or change some static fields? Hot reload tries to maintain state, which means these static variables aren't updated and you'll also need to restart. Or say you've just converted a state less widget into a state full one and made no other changes. The widget might be named the same and build might do the same thing, but it's now a different type, state full instead of state less, and the build method is somewhere else in the state object. So again, you'll need to restart. With all of those changes outside of build methods, hot reload isn't able to pick them up and restart is your friend. But made a change within the build method of an existing widget, sit back, relax, and watch as hot reload picks it up. For more on hot reload and how to get under the hood, head on over to flutter.dev.